If you've been looking for an alternative to sell your Canva templates other than Etsy, then stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can sell your Canva templates using PayHip. Hey boss friends, it's Tisha. I teach you how to create and sell digital products using online business tools so you can start generating passive income. So if you're ready to start your digital product journey, make sure you join the Boss Tribe and hit subscribe. So you've been searching for an alternative to Etsy to sell your Canva templates because your Etsy shop has been banned or you don't want to run the risk of your Etsy shop getting banned. You're probably tired of chasing the Etsy algorithm or you just want something that you have a little bit more control of and that is independent of Etsy. So a great alternative to use is PayHip. So in this video, I want to share with you a quick overview of what is PayHip, a few reasons why you may want to consider PayHip, and then I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step -step on how you can start selling your Canva templates using PayHip. If you've never heard of PayHip, PayHip is an e-commerce platform where you can sell digital products like Canva templates. With PayHip, you can get started without a lot of upfront fees like listing fees or a monthly subscription fee. You can get started with PayHip using their free account and you will only pay a 5% transaction fee once you make a sale. So there's no upfront fee, you only pay that transaction fee on the back end. Now, what makes PayHelp a great alternative to Etsy is that PayHelp offers additional features that are not currently available on Etsy. I'm not sure if Etsy is going to offer these features in the future, but as of making this video, these features are not currently available on the Etsy platform. PayHip offers the ability to increase your sales with the option of having upsells and cross-sales for your digital products. So once a customer reaches the checkout page, you can offer additional products to the customer at a discounted rate, therefore increasing the overall sale for that particular customer. So for example, if you are selling self-care journals, once the customer reaches the checkout page, you can probably offer something like affirmation cards as an additional product for that customer. You can also increase sales with PayHip by using the affiliate program option and or referral program option. And this allows other people to promote and sell your digital products for you. Also with PayHip, there's no waiting period for your payouts. With PayHip, you get to connect your PayPal account and once you make a sale, the money is instantly deposited into your PayPal account and you can decide when you take that money out of your PayPal account and deposit into your bank account. With Etsy, I do believe there is a three to five business day waiting period for them to process that payment before it is deposited into your account. One of my favorite features with the PayHip platform is that you can easily build your email list by integrating your email marketing platform with the PayHip platform. So once a customer makes a purchase, they are automatically added to your email list. You're not able to do this on the Etsy platform. And the last benefit or feature that I want to mention is that you get to create a brand that is separate from Etsy. The majority of time when a customer or someone makes a purchase from Etsy, they normally say, I got it from Etsy versus the name of the shop that they purchased it from. So therefore you're able to create your own brand identity that is separate from the Etsy brand. For a more in-depth overview of PayHip, make sure to check out my PayHip tutorial video. I'll be sure to link it. Now let's switch over to my computer screen so I can show you step by step on how you can start selling your Canva templates using PayHip. Okay, once you have created your account with PayHip and you have set up your free account, it's going to take you to your PayHip homepage, which is also your dashboard. To add a new product, you simply want to click here that says add new product. Next, you're going to select your product type. Since we are adding Canva templates, we want to select digital product. And this is where we will add all of the details for our digital product or our Canva templates. I'm going to upload some Canva thank you card templates that I created. Now in order to upload your Canva templates on any platform, you need to actually create a shareable PDF file. I do have a full tutorial on how I created these Canva templates along with that shareable PDF file. I will link that video so you can watch that next. So first step is to upload the product file, which again is the PDF. So I'm going to select that. Now that's uploaded. The next step is to add your title and your price. So I'm going to just 
type this in. And then you can choose your price. I'm going to leave it at $5 for this tutorial. The next step is to add a cover photo. You can create your cover photo using Canva as long as it has a minimum width of 1000 pixels. Whenever I create these, I always use the Instagram post template to create my cover photo. So let me go ahead and upload that photo. The next step is to add your product description. In this area, you want to let the customer know what they are receiving with the template. Let them know that it's a digital or instant download and any other information that you want the customer to know about the product. This is the section that allows you to enter that information. The next step, you will select your visibility. So this is just basically asking you how you want the product or your templates to be seen. Visible means that everyone can see this product and it's going to be shown in your digital product store. Invisible, that means only you can see it. And unlisted means only people with the direct link to the product will see that product and it won't be listed in your digital product store. The next step is advanced options. Most of these options aren't applicable to selling Canva templates. The one that you may want to look at is a limited number of times products are, can be sold. This can be good if you're doing some type of sales campaign or you're doing a limited edition. You can use this option. The most important one to this list is to add your customers to your email list and you can turn that on by clicking here. And then the last step is to add your product so you wouldn't click on that. Now your camera templates have been successfully added as a digital product to your online shop page. This link is a direct link to your product page and you can click here to see your product page. So this is what your product page would look like. This is the mock-up image that we added. Your full description will be over here to the right along with an add to cart or buy now option. If you want to sell multiple Canva templates, you will just repeat the steps to add those as digital products. And this is what your online Canva template shop could look like. Keep in mind that this is a bare minimum. You can customize your Payhub digital shop to have a more aesthetic or branded look. I am creating a future tutorial to show you how you can create a customized digital shop using Payhip. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss when that tutorial is released. Okay, boss friends, if you thought this tutorial was helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. Leave me your Payhip questions down in the comments. To learn how I created these Canva templates and how I created the shareable PDF, be sure to check out the video that is on your screen. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.